What's going on, everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. And today, we're doing something really interesting. We're putting a 10-year-old low-end giant PC up against a low-end Snapdragon phone for the test with Grand Theft Auto 5. On one side, don't get me wrong, here we have a gaming PC installed with the very old low-end Intel Core i3 4th generation 4130 processor, which is a 2-core, 4-thread CPU clocked up to 3.4 GHz. It also comes with old-school Intel HD 4400 integrated graphics, which supports up to DirectX 12. This PC installed with the 16 gigs DDR3 RAM on dual channel, and it's also running on the latest Windows 11 25H2 build. Well, you already know it's based on x86-64 architecture. On the other side, as you've already seen in my videos, is the Moto G45, which is powered by the low-end Snapdragon 6S Gen 3, the same rebranded version of the Snapdragon 695. Comes with the Adreno 619 GPU, and the phone has 8 gigs of RAM. And of course, both of these systems are different. The PC version, you know, will normally run on native x86-64 instructions, whereas the phone with the ARM SoC will be tested using the latest Game Hub Lite emulator, which will emulate the Windows version of the game right on this phone. And here, I have already imported the game. So, let's first go to settings, and do follow up with all these settings. In this video, I'm going to test it on both these systems in different resolutions, and the timestamps are mentioned below. Also, I got a very good response from the recent video, which I did a couple of weeks ago on test between the ROG Ally Z1 and the 8 Elite, and if you missed that video, do check out the cards or the description. And alright, so, sit back, relax, and enjoy the test. Your son, James, is a good kid. sits on his ass all day, smoking dope and jerking off while he plays that fucking game. If that's our standard for good, damn. This nigga must got the baby dick. Yeah, and all this shit paid for with bad credit. Your son, James, is a good kid. A good kid? A, a good kid. Why? Is he up the fucking poor? No. He sits on his ass all day.
this, you gotta stay on your quit now. They got to do some time over nickels and dimes. I stick to repos, dog. So that's it for the test between the old low-end PC and the low-end Snapdragon device. But honestly, it's really surprising to see how far mobile hardware has come. Being able to emulate GTA 5 is no joke. Even at 1080p settings is actually insane. And do let me know in the comments if you need more tests comparisons like this. Because both of these systems are running on different watt power and architecture. Well, the PC uses a lot more power like 55 watt output but for me personally, I really liked and impressed with the phone with the low power TDP. It still runs insane, even on the emulation. And if you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.